one of the main reasons I didn't continue with opera was because every time I had to do a performance, you wouldn't even be considered if you weren't wearing literally a floor length gown. So like I, I was always in these dresses or these long skirts and it just didn't represent who I was at all at the time and I, I just couldn't fit into that world. I feel like I started out thinking that music and fashion shouldn't be related. But I just remember when I was very first performing solo, I thought it would be funny to wear this outfit that involved like Birkenstocks with socks and just like looking ridiculous. And I actually had someone just be like, you know, you have to take yourself seriously. <laughs> like in a visual way, like you have to realize that people are going to respond to your music by how you present it visually. And like, even though that may not be what you want, that's kind of the way it works. And I think, like in the last few years, I think that we've been able to take control of the visual aspect, mm -hmm. whereas previous to that, it was an area that I wasn't necessarily very comfortable with. Mm -hmm. We travel as eight people, and you know, we're not quite at the level yet where we have a tour bus, so it's literally eight people pouring out of a van just yeah, like traveling across like a, the it's world. It's like the clown car, you know. So yeah, it's like literally, <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, like the gypsy, the traveling circus. All of these things kind of represent <laughs> where we are right now. Because like we're in this like physical mode of traveling, I think that often we'll see something like we went to Turkey, going to the markets, going to like the bazaars, and like and sort of taking in like a lot of like the color and. We're kind of picking up these pieces and then it's almost this like mosaic of all these countries that we've visited. I think that our dress up phase of going on stage is kind of, it's kind of a ritual. Like every show we play, we take at least half an hour to an hour and we usually travel with like a big costume bag and we just kind of sift through it and put outfits together and just try and develop some sort of cohesive look for that night within our band. And that's kind of how like our group comes together before we play the show as well. I think it's part of what makes each performance different and each performance exciting. I guess like I see like clothing, like this daily uh, means of like expression and it's like almost like you put on this cloak and like putting on a mask and it's not that you're necessarily like hiding behind it, but it definitely can push you to give you like some strength. Yeah. yeah, and that's true in everyday life as well. Yeah. Like if I'm ever doing anything and I just feel exhausted or sad or tired or gross or whatever, those are kind of the days where I actually dress up the most because I just, I, it just makes you feel better. It's nice just to, to change. Like I've had probably like every color of hair under the sun from green to purple to white to gray to black. Being comfortable with yourself is like a very big part of being able to express yourself visually. Thank you.